10 Tips for the Beginner Crossdresser. If you're just starting your crossdressing journey, it can be an exciting and intimidating time. There are so many things to consider, from choosing the right clothes, to learning how to do your makeup, to figuring out how to express your female self in a way that feels right to you. I'm Lucille Sorella from femsecrets.com, and in this video, I'm going to share 10 tips for beginner crossdressers to help you look and feel your best. Tip number one, invest in a good wig. Investing in a wig is a great first step for any beginner crossdresser. A wig can instantly transform your appearance and it also gives you the opportunity to try out different hairstyles and looks. Look for a high quality wig in a color and style that flatters your face. My next tip is to learn basic makeup skills. If you're just getting started, makeup can seem overwhelming. But hang in there because makeup is one of the most important tools for transforming your appearance. Fortunately, there are lots of online tutorials that can guide you. I also recommend signing up for my free male to female makeup mini course linked in the description and comments below. Don't worry about complicated makeup techniques like false eyelashes or contouring if you're just getting started. Instead, focus on lipstick and simple eye makeup such as eyeshadow and mascara. These are easy to apply and will beautify your appearance even if your technique isn't perfect. Tip number three is to get a clean shave. Shaving your face is obviously very important to looking as feminine as possible. Use a good razor and shave right before getting dressed so you can have a fresh, clean face with no trace of stubble. Of course, it would be ideal to shave your body as well. You'll look more feminine, plus female clothing feels softer against smooth, shaved skin. My next tip is to create feminine curves. Feminine curves are undeniably appealing. That's why most every crossdresser will want to begin their journey with breast forms. Invest in a pair of breast forms that are appropriate for your body proportions, not too big and not too small. Silicone breast forms can cost hundreds of dollars, but if you're just getting started, look for an inexpensive pair of breast forms on Amazon or eBay. Hip and butt pads can also help you create that hourglass figure, but this is something that you can invest in later down the line. Tip number five is know your measurements. If you prefer to shop online, as many beginner crossdressers do, then knowing your body measurements is crucial. Men's and women's clothing is sized differently, plus sizing varies greatly between different clothing brands. If you know your body measurements, you can easily check sizing charts before ordering clothes online. This will help prevent ordering the wrong size and having to deal with returns. To get your measurements, use a measuring tape and measure your chest, waist, and hips. Another tip is to wear clothes that make you feel good. Now for the fun part, shopping. When you are starting cross-dressing, it's all about experimenting, so look for clothes that appeal to you. Don't buy anything boring or blah just because it's what you think you should wear. Also, don't overspend on expensive clothing while you're still figuring out your style. Thrift stores, consignment shops, and eBay are great options for inexpensive clothes. Tip number seven is choose the right shoes. Shoes are important for completing your look. High heels can instantly make you feel more feminine and attractive, even if you're just staying in the house. Aside from their obvious sex appeal, heels also have an effect on your posture and give you a more feminine hip sway when you walk. If you're on a limited budget, invest in a pair of basic black or nude pumps that will go with everything. Heels below three inches tend to be easier to walk in if you're just getting started. Moving on to tip number eight, step out confidently when you're ready. If you're like most beginner crossdressers, your journey will start in the privacy of your own home, but eventually you might reach a point where you want to step out publicly. This is an exciting step and can be great validation for your female self. Plan ahead to ensure that it's a good experience. If it's your first time out, go somewhere where people are used to seeing crossdressers and transgender women, for example, a crossdressing meetup or LGBTQ friendly bar. You might also want to bring a friend or spouse for support. Tip number nine, don't worry about passing. Passing as a woman is seen as the holy grail for many crossdressers and transgender women. However, this simply isn't practical for most people. Instead, your goal should be to feel comfortable in your own skin. 
It's okay to want to look your best as a woman, but this doesn't mean that you have to look exactly like a cisgender woman. I believe you should be proud to be seen as an attractive and stylish cross-dresser. Another important tip is to experiment and have fun. Above all, have fun as you begin your cross-dressing journey. Realize that you will make mistakes. Your hair, makeup, and fashion skills might not be perfect on the first go, and that's okay. You'll get better as you practice and discover your own unique style. So enjoy the process, experiment, and most of all, have fun. Now I'd love to know if you have any other tips for beginner cross-dressers to add to this list. Please share in the comments. And if you want to learn more tips and strategies for your feminine transformation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.